I want to ask you guys something. And I feel like this actually, I might as well just keep the same picture on the screen here because this is a conversation I had in a chat uh, recently. Yeah. Because, and I know Kiko might disagree. I honestly, at this moment, cannot remember when I watched Kiko's uh, collection tour if he used stands or not. So I, I don't recall. I feel like I've done too many of them at this point. But I want to ask the question, should collectors use stands? I'm going to put this up in a poll, guys. Don't you worry, because I want to get people's opinion on this. Let me just, let me, let me channel my inner Kiko here. I'm going to channel my inner Kiko here. If you don't use a stand, I think you're a crazy person because I think you are just waiting for a disaster to strike you. I think that's just, to me, it's like, it's like not using a condom, bro. Like you have to use a stand. It's stand is so important. You're how you could have an earthquake. Even if you don't live in an earthquake area, you could have an earthquake. Someone could come over and bump into your figure accidentally and knock it over. You could bump into your figure accidentally. You could actually move it too quick and it falls over. You could walk past if your floors are not perfectly level and it could wobble and fall over. Trust me, I've done it because I, the very first hot toys that I ever got was Kylo Ren. And I thought, you know what? I'm a Black Series collector at the time, which is what I was. I was like, I'm gonna get some Black Series. I don't, like a Sean, I know. And then I had Kylo Ren. I was like, I don't need a stand. He's fine. This boy's fine. Had him on the top shelf, came back the next morning. That boy was on the floor. So he was on the floor and his helmet had broken off and I had to get my friend who repaired it, thank God, brand new basically at that point. But if you don't have a, a, a cue, basically like James Bond has a cue, if you don't have a cue who can repair shit for you or you're not good at it yourself, then you got to be real careful with these things. But Yuzvi, I want to ask you, man, should collectors use stands? Because to me, that's what they're there for. They're there for protection. Um, so I'm a cheat. I'm a cheat a little bit. I, I'm... I'm not using stands on my figures right now. Um, I know I'm crazy, but a <laughs> couple of reasons. Because one, okay. they're all enclosed. I mean, right now I know I have the, the things off because I'm working on it, but they're enclosed. So if they fall over, they'll fall over just into the, you know, six, in, not six inches, but however my stands are, it's had two and a half inches. Um, so that I think space wise, I like uniformity in my collection. I'll say that. And, you know, you get some that are the size of this XD Batman. You have others that are, you know, like the strange ones, which are almost a quarter scale stand. You get some that are like really nice and small. Then you have the old figures, which are just the, the oval. Da, da, da. So I'm going to cheat and say that I am not using stands right now. That is because I am laser cutting some uh, just clear acrylic stands to use when I can. Now, oh. if I didn't didn't live in California in earthquake country, I probably wouldn't use stands at all. Um, except for flight stands, flight stands, obviously, if you want to have a uh, Iron Man flying or whatever, you have to use those. So I think it's a cleaner look without stands. Um, I think you can't go wrong either way. Mario, he exclusively, exclusively uses stands. Um, but, uh, I'm kind of a hybrid where I don't, but eventually I would like to have all clear acrylic stands made, you know, so I can fit a bunch of figures where I need to put them, you know, custom. But, uh, until then, Raw dog in it, bro. No stands. <laughs> I saw someone in the chat too. They were like, I raw dog. And I was like, yeah. thanks for letting us know, bro. Appreciate you. <laughs> but yeah, um, but I, I get what you're saying, Yuzu, for sure, man. I'm a, I'm a total stand guy, though. I, I absolutely have all stands on all my figures. So it's just, I feel so much more secure and safe with it that I, way. I, I will, I will say, it. Anytime there is a special stand, like for instance the uh, the uh, the Spider Man, the um, the Homecoming integrated suit with that cool stand with the with the oh um, with the Doc Ock arm. Yeah. Any stands like that, like the Darth Vader, you know, stand where he's standing on on Best Bender, that sort of stuff, I do use just because it's super duper cool and it adds right. to the figure a bunch. But your standard nameplate that I I don't use for sure, right? If possible. Yeah, I think there definitely needs to be a differentiation between a stand and a base. A base is different from a stand, in my opinion. Right. So to kind of just segue into my answer on this, Will, I guess it's time for you to redo, you know, the collection room and yeah. take a look at kind of what we got going on. But I think I'm a hybrid as well because it really is dependent on space and whether the figure has to have it. Um, the if they got bad ankles, they're going over. I mean, that Bane, my Bane 1.0, is on a stand because he cannot stand. Because they have that one boot that he wears that's not split cut, you know? So it's literally just like, mm. you just hope and pray. Right. And so, and that's a terrible place to be in. I was, I've always thought that it depends on what you got. Because you can't turn a base sideways, really, 
without it looking stupid. You can't catty corner it without it looking stupid. So unless you have a decent display of what you're looking for to make it look clean, and that's where I struggle, is that half of mine are on stands, half of them are not. And if they have a base, they're going to maybe be at their atmospheric base because I think those are cool. You go back to the uh, two-pack Boba Fett with like the ground, the war machine with like the ground, you know, the uh, the original Civil War uh, Mark 46 with that big uh, asphalt, you know, thing from where you punch the ground. Those are cool. And I feel like those are part of the figure themselves. I do not use flight stands at all. Um, I think they look super tacky. Um, I don't think you can ever get anything looking good from that. Yeah. Um, but I, I am terrified of some of them going over. But because I do have the glass walls from the detoff or whatever, don't let people say, well, if you have a, if you have a glass wall, you're good because. I've had one, and I'm not even going to tell you which one it was. I had a figure fall forward, bump their head, and there's a scuff on the cheek from hitting the glass. Mm -hmm. So you are not immune just because you have glass walls and a small thing, because even the slightest thing can scuff. And so that, I walk in and I see that damn scuff every single time on somebody. I won't tell you who it is, mm -hmm. but um, I'm very pissed about that. But it comes down to personal preference. And as long as you feel comfortable, don't put your figures at risk by any means. But if you can display them in the most aesthetically pleasing way possible, go for it. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, I don't blame you, man. It's one of those things I, I'd like stands myself, but uh, I guess we're going to find out over time what people like. So guys, thanks for your thoughts on that one. 